Hi guys. In this section, there is a lot of theorems that we need to know. So for this first question, we're looking at a triangle. So triangle BFE. So from here to here is, <laughs> it's not a straight line. It's inscribed in triangle A and we're given the measure of FBE, so F to B to E, so this one is 22. And we're trying to figure out FEB, so this angle right here. So I'm over here in the notes for this section, and it's really good maybe have two tabs open split screen like this, but there's theorems in here that help us with this. And one of them that we need to know is theorem 60. So any triangle inscribed in a circle such that one side of the triangle is a diameter, then it's a right triangle. So because this part of the triangle is a diameter, it's telling us that this angle, F, is a right angle, meaning that's 90 degrees. So now I know that all of these angles, the three angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So I know one angle is 22. I know one angle is 90. And I'm trying to find this angle, angle E. And those will add to 180. So 22 plus 90 is 112 plus E is 180. So I'm going to subtract the 112 from 180. And I'm going to get 8, 6. So 68 would be the measure of this third angle. Okay, so our next question has this giant shape, R-S-T-U-V-W, inscribed in Y, and it's asking about the measure of the arc, W-R. So it's asking if this arc length, is that equal to 90 degrees? So this goes back to what we know about arc lengths. We know that this is 90 and this is 90, but that's not linked to the radius. So we would need to know if this is 90. So again, it helps to go look what we know about inscribed angles. Okay, so it matches if it's coming off from the radius. So if that is 90, if we can prove that this is 90 degrees, then the answer would be true. If we cannot prove that, then that's false. But we're going to look at our last thing. We know this is a diameter. So we know that that's 90. But that's not really going to help us with this angle. Because there's not any other diameters. Okay, so for this problem, it cannot be determined. We don't know what that angle is. It doesn't look like 90, but it might not be to scale. You know, that's 90. And that's 90. So I can't have two 90 degree angles, so we actually can tell that this would be false. Okay, because we can't have two 90 degree angles in a triangle.
then it wouldn't be a triangle. All right, the measure of EFL is 90 degrees. So E to F to L is 90. We want to calculate E to G to L. We want to calculate this. So again, I need to notice that these, this makes up what we call a quadrilateral. It's called quadrilateral because it has four sides. One, two, three, four. So again, I'm going to go back to my notes and look at my theorems. Here we go. A quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. So opposite angles of inscribed quadrilaterals are supplements. Supplementary angles. So you need to know what that means. <laughs> a supplementary angle means they add to 180. So this means that if I have 90 degrees and I add the measure of EGL, what I'm looking for, supplementary means they add to 180 because they're opposite angles. So that would mean the other two also add to 180. So 180 minus 90 is 90. So if this is 90, this is 90. Then all four would add to 360. So none of these are correct. It would be 90. So find the measure of T SR if theta is 43. So this is 43 degrees and we're trying to find the measure of T to S star right here. So again we have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. One side, two sides, three sides, four sides. And these are opposite angles, so they add to 180. So I'm going to take 180 minus 43. 137. So you would just type in 137. The degree is right there, so you don't have to type in the degree. Find the measure of angle L to I to K. So right here, I, if theta is 51 degrees. So here theta is an arc length. And I know I saw a theorem that looked like this. So if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then the lengths are congruent. <clears throat> so the measure of ASB want to calculate the arc. So see what I'm doing? I'm looking at an example and then I'm going to figure out what the arc length would be or what the angle would be. So the angle, I'm looking at the solution over here. Um, they have the measure of ASB. I have the measure of angle LIK equals one half the measure of arc LK, which we write like that. So I know the measure of this arc is 51. So I want to take one half of 51 to get the measure of my angle. 
So half of 51 is 25.5. So that's what this angle would be, and that's what that angle would be, 25.5. Okay, find the measure of the arc if theta is 37. So now, measure of arc, TQR. So T to Q to R. That's our arc that we're looking at. So this goes back to, we saw the beginning. See how it is half the measure? So if this is 37, the arc would be 37 times 2. So 37 plus 37 is 74. So this would be 74 for the arc. Okay, so that's the last one. Again, I would refer back to your notes on these. There's a lot of theorems and pictures that